Sports by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can quickly use a frame custom shape to create other frame designs, maybe more extreme frame designs. Now, first thing to do, just go over to the custom shape tool, I'm going to set the option to shape there initially, and just going to select one of the shapes. Right, I'm going to start with this one. Now, what you can do, just quickly add that as a shape layer. Now, of course, you lose the thing, but that I will show you later how to get around that. Very quick and simple. Now, once you've actually got that, I'm just going to go back because I will, unfortunately, maybe go beyond the end of my history. So I'm just going to say new snapshot. That's always a key thing. Snapshot, just great snapshot. You've got it saved. You can always go back if you make a mistake. Unlike, of course, in a video where I have to just redo the video again. Now, right, got a snapshot. Then I'm just going to go to create that frame. Now, if you want to actually create slightly more interesting frames or more unusual frames, there's numerous ways you can do it. You can use the direct selection tool. It's just basically points this. So you can actually just select that. Direct selection. So you can just select a point select a point and so on and so on you just go around the whole design maybe dragging out and certain points sometimes making a mistake just then it didn't move at all right so you've got that design there and you can of course at this point decide you want to save it define as custom shape and you've got custom shape click ok now just going to go back to the original and what you can do you can just quickly go to over here to the custom shape again and you can use the other custom shape and add additional paths to it and the key thing here is to combine shape shapes so and you can just then just go around and of course you could use a different custom shape you don't have to use the one that I've just created in there and you can just go around like that and create say a much more extended frame shape now once you've done that decided finished go to merge shape layers and make certain you've got the custom shape tool selected there and edit and define custom shape right also another option and you quickly and I'm just going to go back back to that shape you can quickly go over here to the like freeform pen tool and I haven't got a mouse so I'm, I've just got a mouse so I'm just uh, gonna not using a pen so it's actually a bit uh, more fiddly than uh, but it's uh, so you can just quickly add that and I see straight away what I've done wrong I've actually using new layer now you don't want new layer option so what you need to do just go back and just set that that's the key thing otherwise it will just add a new layer combine shapes and then just add that add that and you can see it's then combined you've got to extend it out there and of course it still points so you can then go to the direct selection tool and modify the points you've actually just created. Maybe extend that out that way. Right. Now again, go over here, merge shape components, and edit, define custom shape. Now sometimes the custom shape option is not available. Sometimes it's some of the controls you will have it available, some won't. So if it's not, best thing is just quickly go make certain direct is the custom shape tool, and then use edit and define custom shape. And then you've got the custom shape there. Right, once you've actually done all that, you know, there's of course thousands of other things you can do, as with most things in Photoshop. You want to, and I'm just going to remove that because obviously I don't want that there. What I want to do is add it as a path, and I can just quickly add, and I'm going to use one of the ones I just created, and there's that one there. Quickly add that path just on top of the face there. Go over here to the pass and then make selection. Click OK. Now, to actually create a frame, just quickly say inverse. And then maybe you could go for white frame, but you can also go for a more colourful gradient effect as well. And then inverse. And maybe you might want to add, so you can say stroke. Instead of blue, maybe go for a black and click OK. Right, and so you've got a nice sort of frame frame design using multiple shapes, multiple changes of points and much more just from a single custom shape. 